welcome to Pretty Over 50. I'm Kimberly and I'm really glad you're here. I have been having such a love affair with pink lipsticks lately and I'm not sure if it's the weather, if it's summer coming, or if there's just a whole lot of wonderful pink lipsticks out there, but I can't seem to stop wanting to wear them. So I thought it would be fun for me to go over the lipsticks that I'm loving and wearing and sharing them with you. Um, so today, the nice thing about the lipsticks we'll be talking about is that they're all drugstore, so great price point, super accessible. So if you decide you want a little pink in your life, you can run right out and get yourself one. It'll be an easy thing to do. Now, I want to start today with what I have on my lips. And this is the Keep It Full from Milani. So you can see the Keep It Full. Of course, the Milani. Now, these are really quite the fan favorite. There's a lot of buzz going on about these lipsticks and I have two. This is the sparkling pink that I'm wearing on my lips right now and I also have it in the Luminoso. Now the sparkling pink is of course a soft pink and the Luminoso has a little bit of peach in it and this is what I love about these lipsticks. First of all the packaging is superb. I mean it just has that that feel that you just, it feels good in your hand and the screw top works really well and it's really pretty. And here's a wonderful part of it. It's this doe foot applicator is nice and big. So when you go to put it on, you get a lot of product and you don't have to keep going back over and over and over. You can put a lot of product on quickly. The formula is smooth and glossy and rich and thick. It feels wonderful on the skin. So obviously I went all in first time and bought two of them. Now here's the downside and this is just for me. Maybe you're having the same issue if you own these. I can't get them to stay on my lips very long. Honestly I can put them on and maybe an hour later I feel like I need to reapply. Now I'm not sure if it's the, you know, the keep it full formula that it has a little bit of tingle in it. So I'm pursing my lips together because I'm noticing my lips or if it just dries down and soaks in and just doesn't stay very long. So that's the really only downside and maybe it's just me, maybe it's different for you. So if you have these and you have a different perception of how they work for you, put a little comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on these. And keep this in mind because I'm gonna bring these back and talk about them a little bit later in the video. The next lipstick I wanna talk about here, let me go ahead and take this off is a fun little product from Wet n Wild. And I bought these on a whim. It's the Liquid Catsuit Lip Gloss. And by golly, I love these. I love them for a lot of different reasons. The color payout is wonderful. The staying power is wonderful. The formula feels great. Let me go ahead and show you. The only thing that I wish was a little bit different, I wish the doe foot was bigger because it really is, it's quite small. And what you have to hold on to when you actually apply the lipstick is quite small too. So I would have preferred a little bit larger lid and a little bit bigger doe foot. But let me show you how pretty this color is. You know, when it goes on, the color looks almost like a lipstick, yet with the feel of a lip gloss. Isn't that pretty? This is, the color is Flirt Alert. So this is Flirt Alert. I really like it. I think it's just super pretty. And the next one we'll be talking about is Taffy Tantrum. So I'll go ahead and try that on for you. You can see how it looks. Is Taffy Tantrum. Isn't that a beautiful color? I'm really finding myself reaching for this particular one over and over again because I feel like it's just such a terrific pink. It's it's soft, yet it has a, a lot of color with it. It's just, it's lovely and I'm really enjoying it. So um, as far as a great formula that lasts a long time, I can really recommend these cat, liquid cat suits from Wet n Wild. So the next lip products we're gonna try, I'm gonna use most of them with a lip liner because I feel like they just work better with a nice lip liner. And I'm gonna be using the Revlon Color Stay in Pink Rose. This is a great lip liner. You can get it at, gosh, Target, Walmart. Great price point, under $10. I really like this, and I've actually had this lip liner since, I think since last summer, and I wear it a lot. So it really has 
you know, there's quite a lot of product and I still have a lot of product left to do. And of course it's an automatic pencil, so you don't have to worry about sharpening it. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with these and we're gonna try on a few more of the colors I have for you here. Now when I line my lips, because you know I'm a little bit older and my lips are not quite as full as they used to be, I go to the outside of that line around my lips and I think this just gives me a little bit more fullness to my lips. The next product we're gonna be looking at is a Pin Up Pout lipstick from NYX. And I really love the NYX lipsticks. I've been wearing them for a while and just really enjoy them. And this is the color that we're gonna be looking at. And it is Darling, that's the name of the color. And I'll go ahead and swatch it to the back of my hand so you can see, isn't that a, just a pretty, pretty pink? It's a little bit of a muted rose, but it has a soft pink glow to it as well. So I have my lips lined. Let's go ahead. That's the Darling, the NYX Pin Up Pout in Darling. And I've actually had this lipstick, you can see it's had a lot of love, um, probably for close to a year, and I reach for it a lot. And particularly lately when I've been kind of in this pink phase, I can say the formula is very creamy, doesn't feel sticky, doesn't feel heavy, and they really last. So if I put this on in the morning after breakfast, I can get up to lunchtime and still have nice product on my lips. And for me, that's a long wearing lipstick because I kind of mess with my lips during the day. So this is Darling from NYX. These next two lipsticks have a special place in my heart because they are the Color Riche formula from L'Oreal. And if you follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm absolutely in love with this formula. It is so luscious. It's almost as if a lipstick and a lip gloss had a baby. <laughs> That's what this lipstick is like. It's just so creamy and so pretty and so glossy and such great color. And you can see I've had this for just a few months and it's almost gone. I reach for this lipstick a lot. This is the Sparkling Rose and it's absolutely so beautiful. It's kind of a dusty rose. You can see it's just a real pretty color and watch when it goes on. This is the Dusty Rose from L'Oreal and there is nothing about this lip product that I don't love. They just hit it out of the park. Um, the packaging is gorgeous. The formula is gorgeous. The colors are beautiful. It's just um, a lovely, lovely line of lipsticks. And I can say that of all the products I'm working with right now, this is really, really one of my favorites. So if you haven't tried one of these, give yourself a little gift and go grab one in a color that you love because it's such a treat for your lips. Just so moisturizing, long lasting, even though they feel like a gloss, they're just light and lovely and luscious. The next product is also from the L'Oreal Color Riche collection and I actually went out and bought this lipstick just for this video because, you know, I had a lot of these pink lipsticks but I needed a few more because, you know, research. And I love this formula so much that I decided to get another color in it and this color just has me over the moon. This is called Lacquered Strawberry and look at that. How gorgeous is that? Isn't that gorgeous? And this, these lip formulas are just over the moon wonderful. So let's go ahead and I've got the Revlon um, lip liner on. I can't even tell you how great these formulas feel. They didn't have lipstick like this when I was a kid. So this is the Color Riche formula in Lacquered Strawberry. I absolutely love this color. The next formula I want to share is from Maybelline. It is the Super Stay Matte Ink. And I actually got to know this line of lipsticks from a girlfriend when I was still living in Montana. She gifted me another color. It was during the winter, so it was a darker kind of um, dusty red color. It was beautiful. And I liked it so well that I went out and got one of the pink ones. So this is a wonderful formula and it's a very, very popular lipstick. And one of the 
great parts of the packaging of this is that applicator. You can see that it has, it comes to a wonderful point. So you can really apply these with precision and get them on your lips. Now this is an ink, so it's going to stay throughout the day, but boy, it doesn't dry down and feel awful like one of those, um, like some of the other, uh, you know, permanent lipsticks out there. It really has a nice feel to it. I'm gonna go ahead and use it with just a little bit of the Revlon lip liner because it's such a soft pink that it really does kind of give a definition of the outline of the lip color uh, when I apply it. So this is the Maybelline Super Stay Matte Ink in the color Dreamer. Isn't that pretty? It's just the softest, dustiest rose. I mean, it's almost a neutral don't you think? But I just, I love the pink tone of it. And remember I said I was going to revisit Milani, keep it full. So when I'm wearing this lipstick, because it's one of those, you know, stay all day lipsticks, I'll sometimes bring out my sparkling pink Milani and just top that ever so softly. Isn't that pretty? Just a really beautiful color combination. So that's the Milani Keep It Full and the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink in Dreamer. The next formula I'm going to be sharing is the Rimmel Stay Satin. And this is kind of a, a lip gloss, lip stain combination. And I've actually used this formula before in another color, but I just recently got this because I was so crazy for this color. Isn't that just fabulous? I mean, it's very distinctive. It'd be so terrific for a summer night out dinner or something like that. So I have a little bit of the Revlon liner on just mostly to give myself a guidelines for my lip line. And let's go ahead and get that on. This is the Rimmel Stay Satin in the color Rosetto. Isn't that pretty? It's just so distinctive and fun. And you know this formula is, it, it feels soft, it doesn't feel drying, it doesn't feel sticky. It almost just feels like um, sort of satin on your lips. So it's a very, very comfortable formulation and I'm loving that color. The last formula we're going to try today is kind of a big pop for the finish and this is from Wet and Wild and this is a new formula for me so I really don't have a lot of experience for it, with it but I do love this color. Let me show you what it looks like. It's absolutely stunning. Isn't that beautiful? It's kind of a hot deep rosy red pink and this formula, I've tried it a couple of times, I haven't worn it out for the day or anything, but I've tried it a couple of times around the house and it feels so good when it's going on. So I have a little bit again of the Revlon lip liner on. This formula feels so creamy. You know, it almost feels comparable to the L'Oreal, which is saying a lot because I'm in love with the L'Oreal, but oh, mmm. This formula feels so good and I think that color is just stunning. This is the Wet n Wild and the theme of the color I love this is In the Near Fuchsia. In the Near Fuchsia. So you might want to try this in the Near Fuchsia. Loving that. Thank you so much for sticking with me this long. Again, this is Pretty Over 50 and I'm Kimberly. I'm really glad that you're here. If you enjoy makeup tutorials and skincare information about the mature skin, I hope you'll go ahead and subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I'd love to see you in my future videos. Again, thanks for stopping by. I hope pink is in your future. Take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.